Bridge by the feather beds. MPP Marine Patrol from Black working on possible 45 and they got two other patients. folks, what we got going on, different type of radio now, <coughs> excuse me, we're heading to Black Point Marina, supposedly there was a, uh, some sort of a boating accident, and uh, we're going to see if we can get any footage of it, <coughs> it'll be something new for the channel. We're listening to it on the scanner. Supposedly three victims. One of them is what they're calling at a 45, means the person has passed uh, away or they were some responsive, but they were working on them, they're performing CPR on them. Uh, him or her, they have a heavy response from Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. Both uh, air rescue helicopters are responding, air rescue north and air rescue south. <coughs> um, at least three rescue units. You have the battalion chief responding. And uh, an EMS captain, EMS-6, I believe, is responding also. Firebus 73. Fireboat 73, go ahead. The Fireboat 73. Be advised, we have three patients. One's in cardiac arrest. They're all in our vessel. 
We are en route to Blackport Marina. We're going to need three separate rescues. One seeking a cardiac arrest. Command air rescue. Three minutes away, they're setting up a landing zone at the marina. They got three patients. One of them is a 45, means has passed away, but they're trying to revive. They're working on them. Unknown type of accident. This is something they're going to investigate. Picking up, you can see the helicopters. Command, also be about you have platform three, four, and round. Reference that additional suppression. Copy that. Closed off the parking lot, of course. I'll see where I can set up, where I can uh, get the best footage safely and without interfering. Both uh, air rescue helicopters are 
the air rest of all the generation.
Okay, so everybody seems to be clearing the scene now. What appears uh, to summarize it, but what I know so far by hearing the, by monitoring the, the frequency. By monitoring the frequency, it's supposedly some kind of boating accident in which three victims were were ejected from the boat at about 80 miles an hour. Uh, they were picked up by another boat from the water, picked up two of them right, right away, and then later on found the third victim, which was unresponsive and cardiac arrest. So one uh, 
all three uh, victims, all three patients were transported by air rescue. The most serious uh, one, the one that was in cardiac arrest, was transported by air rescue north. The other two, and they were transported to Jackson South the Trauma Center. Got there pretty quick. And the other two were transported also to Jackson South the Trauma Center. But they were, I don't know their condition, I didn't hear it. But they were not uh, an arrest, so at least they were alive. So we'll see later on here in the news if they were able to uh, to revive that person or not. Okay, Toyota Echo, like the last one left in Miami, I think. Out of the way. And, uh, well, different video today. And, um, folks, be good to each other. Y'all, uh, Care. Be careful. You don't ever want to take a ride in one of those helicopters because if you do, it means you're in pretty bad shape or in a lot of pain. So, if you're driving, don't drink. Don't drink and drive. It takes all your skills to survive here in this uh, in this world. See, so got some activity there to the left. And I just wanted to add this. I want to give a, a shout out to the Miami Dade Fire Rescue Department. I um, I worked for the county for 39 years, as many all know, 30 years as a supervisor. And in those 30 years, I had many, many uh, situations where I worked with the uh, Miami Dade Fire and Rescue and uh, I've never had a negative experience. These guys are among the best trained in the land. They're true professionals. Um, it's a hobby of mine too. I monitor, I have uh, various uh, radio scanners that I monitor the emergency uh, uh, frequencies. I, I don't monitor police because I find it kind of uh, too much chatter, but I do monitor fire rescue. And uh, I, the way they 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 in situations like this, the way they manage it, it's uh, it's incredible the the the, the training they have and the, and the decisions they make. Um, just one example I can uh, I can give you is uh, it's about eight nine years ago there was a house fire in the Cutler Bay area and there were two children um, under five in the house alone at the time their parent or guardian had gone out to get something and when fire rescue arrived the both of the children were unresponsive they had already set up a, a air rescue to to transport and the battalion chief that was the, the, in charge the union in charge in command they asked him if he wanted just one uh, uh, air rescue and he said no bring them both uh, north and south and the thing is that uh, once they got they revived one of the of, of the children they they put them in that helicopter and took off right away without having to wait for the other one and the second child was transported by the the, the second unit and uh, I know I'm making this short it was a lot more complicated than this but due to that quick uh, action quick decisions both children survived thankfully
So that's my shout out to Miami Dade uh, Fire Rescue. I heard this incident in my scanner from the beginning. And all the calls they made, all the decisions were made were right on target. They were the right decision to make. And um, hopefully all three of these victims uh, survive. Although one was in cardiac arrest, that's the most serious of the three. But yeah, shout out to the Miami Dade Fire Rescue Department. Like I said, 30 years of dealing with them. Never had a negative experience. And uh, great bunch of men and women. This is T. Joe saying bye-bye.